going? So in this video, um, I'm going to be talking about a couple equations that are important um, and they're going to be related to our pressure volume curve as well as our four-chambered heart. Uh, so the first one I want to start off with is our stroke volume. And so the equation for the stroke volume is just going to be equal to our N diastolic volume minus our N systolic volume. Well, what does that mean? Um, well, first off, let's start off with our stroke volume. So our stroke volume is just going to be the amount of blood in milliliters that is being pumped through our heart and leaving the left ventricle every time it beats. So if you feel your heart every time that the heart beats, that's the amount of blood that's being pumped through uh, the heart. And so the stroke volume is just equal to our end di diastolic volume minus our end systolic volume. Well, at the end of diastole, we're going to be at 120 milliliters. And at the end of systole, we're going to be at 50 milliliters of blood. So 50 is going to be our end systolic volume. 120 is going to be our end diastolic volume. Well, now we can plug that into this equation, 120 milliliters minus 50 milliliters. And that's going to give us a stroke volume of 70 milliliters. So about 70 milliliters for the healthy human being is going to be the amount of blood that's being pumped through our heart every time it beats. Um, okay, so another equation that we can relate that to is going to be our cardiac output. So our cardiac output is just going to be equal to our heart rate times our stroke volume. Well, we already know what our stroke volume is. That's going to be 70 milliliters for the typical human being. Um, and that's going to be multiplied by our heart rate. So what is our heart rate? Well, our heart rate is just the amount of blood that's being pumped through, or sorry, our heart rate is just the amount of times that our heart beats per minute. So if you feel your heart for one minute, how many times does it beat? Well, usually for the typical human being, that's gonna be around 60 strokes per minute. Okay, so we can set that equal to our cardiac output, which is gonna be 4,200 milliliters per minute. Well, what is our cardiac output? Our cardiac output is just the amount of blood that's being pumped through our heart every single minute. And so if you think about that, 4,200 milliliters of blood is being pumped through our heart every single minute. Um, so to me, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, I'm just gonna be talking about the frame startling law of the heart, just give a little overview of what that means. Um, so basically, what the law states is that if we can increase the ability of these sarcomere, sarcomeres to stretch, then we're gonna be able to increase the amount of blood that flows into the left ventricle. And so if we can expand our myocardium out, then we're gonna be able to fill more blood into this left ventricle. And if we fill more blood into the left ventricle, we're gonna be able to increase our end diastolic volume. Well, what does that mean? If we can increase our end diastolic volume, that's going to mean that we're going to be able to increase our stroke volume. And if we can increase our stroke volume, then if we want to keep the same cardiac output, we're going to have to decrease our heart rate. If we keep our heart rate the same, we're going to increase our cardiac output. And so if you think about it, that's why healthy people who exercise a lot tend to have a lower heart rate, is because their body has been trained, their heart has been trained to expand their myocardium more allow more blood to flow in here, and allow more blood to flow out. And if you can do that, then your heart rate is gonna decrease. 